Games are made up of different types of assets, like buildings, characters, trees and plants. In fact, anything you can think of can be modelled by an artist and created in a game. Now, there are well over a thousand such game objects that come built in with GameGuru Max. They're stored in the object library, which can be accessed by clicking on this Add button. On the left are all the categories. Some of these open up to reveal subcategories. Most of the library shows the objects in the selected category, and this can be scrolled up and down. And you can use the zoom slider to choose the size of the object thumbnails. Click on the expand icon to see a more detailed view of an object. You can even update the background image of the thumbnail if you like. You can heart objects that you keep reusing in your games. They're then listed in the favorites category at the top. Use the search box to find objects by name. Let's look for all the barrels in the whole library. The order the objects appear can be set here. Click once to add an object from the library into your game level. Notice how the thumbnail is shown on the left. Click this again to add another copy of the object into the scene. It's also possible to drag and drop objects from the library. To add more than one object at a time, you can use the Shift or the Control keys in combination with the mouse. Let's add these five trees at the same time. So click left mouse button while holding down the Shift key, then click again at the end of the objects to be selected. Now we'll select three different flowers. Click with the control key down to choose each one at a time. Adding new objects from external sources is managed with this button. Press this to open the built-in character creator. Here you can make your own unique characters for your games. There we go, that's the object library. It's an area you'll use often.